Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep and in today's tutorial, we will take a look at how to track stocks that are outperforming the S&P using an IBD style relative strength. So uh, I'm hoping that most of you are aware of what uh, um, you know the relative strength index is that is provided by uh, the Investors Business Daily uh, and made popular by them. Now, according to them, the relative strength rating um, is not just looking for good stocks, but you're looking for the best stocks uh, and those that are clearly outperforming the rest of the pack. The relative strength rating is one more way to separate the cream from the rest of the crop. Right? The RS rating tracks a stock's share performance over uh, 52 weeks and then compares it to the S&P 500. So this rating clearly shows if the stock is uh, a market leader or a laggard in terms of price performance. So we're not looking at any fundamental data. We're just looking at the price performance of how the stock has performed as compared to um, the S&P. Now, um, it provides a range and the range is from 1 to 99 where 1 is the worst, which is it's the worst performing stock or in the lowest percentile while 99 is the best which means it's outperforming um, you know 99 percent of all stocks in terms of relative share price performance over a period of 52 weeks now uh, you know we can look for stocks that are 80 or higher or you know if you want to further narrow it down you can look for the best stocks um, you know that are over 90 um, because typically they will launch a big price run so now what we've what we'll do is uh, we'll share uh, three toss scripts um, that you'll find extremely valuable and this will work in any kind of market. And as I mentioned, you'll find stock, stocks that are in the top percentile or the lowest percentile, uh, you know, to go long or short. Uh, in addition, we're going to provide uh, a script that was actually written by um, a different author on another platform and all we've done is we've merely ported it uh, to run on uh, think of uh, think or swim and obviously it's a, a free script hence i've taken the liberty of uh, you know porting it and um, a big shout out for this goes out to uh, one of the members in my discord room um, ani who's done a fair bit of work in terms of porting this script and uh, you know we collaborated together to come up with uh, these three different scripts um, that we think will be quite useful to people who use thinkorswim and i'll demonstrate that to you in a moment okay so what i'll do now is uh, i'll show you how this thing works and uh, let's just uh, you know i'm going to expand on this and one of the things we've done is uh, as you can see um, we've added a column code that actually provides you with a rating of 99 uh, from 1 to 99 with 99 being the best so essentially what this is saying is that you know these stocks which is Lynn, j and j unh uh, nvs and <clears throat> you can see pfizer lily and then you see a bunch of names uh, from the energy sector um, exxon mobil uh, Conoco Phillips and uh, some of the energy stocks, including some uh, you know food-related stocks, that are part of this list because these are the stocks that are currently outperforming the market, right? And then when you go and look at the bottom, you will see names like Amazon, Netflix, Nike, Disney. So these are some of the stocks that have been performing very poorly. As you can see the chart uh, from. Uh, for BA, you can see it's been on a downtrend. Likewise, you know, if you look at Disney, uh, it's the same thing. It's trading at, you know, the lowest uh, value uh, in a long time. But if you look at stocks like ExxonMobil, ExxonMobil, it is, uh, it's actually trading, um, you know, uh, quite well from, you know, from bottom left to the top right you can see this has been consistently moving up in a straight line so your goal essentially is to look for stocks that are outperforming the market um, you know if you want to be long on those or trade those stocks while you know looking for stocks in the lowest percentile if you want to go short so let me just uh, show you a little bit on the blog where um, i've written uh, a brief description of how this thing works 
So I've, what I've done is I've provided a script and this script will add the column ranking the stacks from ranking the stocks from top to bottom percentile, which I showed you. And I've also, you know, given the code. If you want, you can just cut and paste the code here. Uh, the second study uh, is the uh, uh, is the is a lower study that gives you a visual on how the relative strength is performing over a period of time. And finally, at the the bottom, which is number three, is uh, I've created a scan. So this is scanning for stocks with high relative strength in this code. We're looking for stocks with the relative strength, which is greater than 98, but you can clearly adjust this number. So for example, if you want to find stocks that are, um, you know, less than 10, you would just adjust this. And that part you can adjust in the last line of the scan. It's right here. So, you know, currently I have set it up to greater than 98. So I'm just trying to find stocks that are performing uh, in the top, you know, two percentile, right? The best performing stocks. And I'll show you what the results of the scan are in a, in a moment. So I will provide uh, uh, a link uh, in the description of the video so you can uh, access this uh, <clears throat> you know information and that's currently on my blog and uh, you know be able to grab these uh, scripts uh, for your uh, own usage. Now let's just like head back into uh, um, the, the the thinkorswim and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that study which I created, uh, which is the IBD lower study, and you can call it whatever you want. So hit apply, and you can see it's just showing you the relative strength of these stocks. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click on this to expand this window, and uh, let's just scroll up. And I've color coded, you know, things that are um, about 95 to be green, but of course you have the ability to adjust that. And let me show you where you would do that. You would go into customize, click on the RSI, and here it says assign background color. So I'm saying if the rating is greater than 95, then turn it green, but you can adjust this to whatever number that you prefer, you know, 80, 75, whatever the number is, but I would say at least keep it uh, above 85. And then likewise for the lower number as well. So, so once uh, you have this, <clears throat> you can, uh, you know, add it to any list of your own choice. So this is one of the lists that I'm currently tracking, which is the largest cap uh, stocks in each of the sectors. And I can clearly see from here that, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the, the industry that is outperforming is the pharmaceutical industry. There's a lot of pharma, pharma stocks in that. And that makes sense because uh, when you are in a market like, you know, we currently are in, um, the pharmaceutical sector tends to be a defensive sector. Likewise, you have a number of names from the um, uh, oil and gas uh, sector as well. And that makes sense as well, because these are stocks, because uh, the you know oil prices going up, trading close to $110, $115 a barrel, uh, these energy countries are benefiting. So you can, we can scroll through a couple stocks, as you can see, you have J and J, and you can see this 99 here matches up with this 99 here, telling you that this is a stock that uh, is doing extremely well in a top one percentile. Uh, you have United Healthcare, so on and so forth. And you know, if you go down here, each one is going to match up. You know, so the 56 here matches up with the 56 here. So these are completely in in, in sync. Okay. So the other thing that I'm going to show you is that you go into the scan and. Uh, so the scan, you can just paste it here, right? And currently it's set to greater than 98, which is, uh, you know, uh, my preference. But I've also, uh, I usually like uh, adding another filter where I look at ATR of greater than two and uh, average volume greater than, uh, you know, 500,000. So uh, let me uh, head back into the, the chart and uh, what we'll do is we'll just look for those stocks uh, the output of the stocks that are based on that scan, which I've posted, which is the IBD RSI here. So once this populates, you can see that these are all the stocks that are greater uh, than 98. And obviously, you know, this you can uh, sort it here. So, so some of the names, as I mentioned, that you see belong to the pharmaceutical sector, healthcare sector, and you can also click on this to see what's going on. So you can see a bunch of names that are healthcare providers, pharmaceuticals, biotechnologies, right? So that kind of gives you a little bit of a sense of which sector is doing well at this point in time. So 
uh, what I would be inclined personally is like, um, you know, uh, instead of like picking a stock, one other choice would be to look at the index as well. So one choice is to look at the um, XLV index or the IBB index and, and see how um, that is performing in, in the current market. So hopefully this helps you out and let me spend like just a couple minutes uh, showing you how some of the <clears throat> uh, UTS uh, system that the ultimate trading system has performed uh, um, over a period of time. So let's look at uh, a shorter time frame like the 10 minute time frame. I want to show you some trades um, that originated on uh, Friday like uh, Tesla. So the, the, the system, um, um, you know, gave a signal to short the stock here and we can see what the output of this was if we look, click on the show report and uh, the last trade on this just one trade yielded five thousand uh, almost close to six thousand dollars in profit with the shorting hundred shares uh, let's look at uh, google here as well and and see where the signal came the signal came here closed it here and this was a fairly decent close as well because after that you know the stock went sideways and then towards the end as uh, we all know the market went up so if you look at the show report as well you know this one gained six thousand as well so i mean just between two stocks uh, assuming you could afford like you know either 100 shares or you know even if you took one contract long or short um you could uh, have made significant profit in this uh, so i'm hoping those scripts that i posted uh, help you out and uh, i will put a link in the description so go grab them and uh, um, you know, I look forward to your feedback and uh, um, ideas for other tutorials as well. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.